Hi, my name is Kitty Greenwald and this is Slow Food Fast. Today we're making skillet souffle with asparagus and spring onions. It's a recipe from Andrea Rusing, whose restaurant is in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's called Lantern. What's nice about this recipe is a crust forms as it bakes without you having to roll out a crust. So it's super quick, really easy. All right, I'm gonna get going. First thing you wanna do is preheat the oven to 475. I'm gonna put the skillet into the oven. You want the skillet to heat up. Oh, nearly, it's hot. And we're gonna start with the base. Break three eggs into the bowl. So you beat the eggs for about one to two minutes. You want them really nice and frothy. Nicely whisked. Then I'm gonna whisk in the milk and then I'm gonna sift in the dry ingredients. This is one cup whole milk. Three quarter cup white flour. You can just sift in all your dry ingredients at the same time. One and a half teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon baking powder, and a half teaspoon cayenne. Just sift it all in. And then you're gonna whisk again until all lumps are dissolved. See how simple this is? She says to whisk for about 20 to 30 seconds. Season it with black pepper. That looks like enough. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm going to trim the asparagus, sort of roughly line that up, and then chop off the thick, fat, fibrous parts. So they're trimmed. I'm gonna take three asparagus and set them aside. The rest of the asparagus, we're gonna cut into half inch pieces. This is a springtime recipe when asparagus are coming into season. So then you take the three asparagus that you set aside and you're gonna slice those lengthwise. Slice it down, start at the base slowly. This is just really decoration. Here I have spring onions. You need about three quarters of a cup of these. Trim off the butt. You wanna go till as far as it sort of feels tender. You don't want them thick. You should cut it as thin as possible because you want the onion to sort of melt into the background. The next task is the cheese. So I'm just cutting this into chunks, which is fun. Here we're using an aged cheddar. A nice sharp quality is what you're looking for. So that goes in there. And in the meanwhile, the skill is just getting nice and hot. An old school box grater and you grate. And this will be scattered over top. Don't get your fingers Slice. Okay, that's crumbly enough. I'm gonna whisk in the onions and asparagus. That is not fussy. Okay, so the onions and asparagus are mixed into the batter. The four ounces of cheese have been halved. Two ounces are cubed, two ounces are grated. I'm gonna take the skillet out. Turn the stove on to medium high heat so you're keeping the temperature super high. Add the butter. It's gonna sizzle two tablespoons of butter. It's starting to brown, and immediately I'm gonna pour in the batter. Scatter the cheese. I'm gonna lightly press it in, so I want it to sink a bit. Arrange the asparagus spears around so it's nice and pretty. Little asparagus fan. And I'm gonna sprinkle the remaining two ounces grated cheese. Scatter that sort of evenly. We're gonna return it to the oven. Bake it on the center rack for about 18 to 20 minutes. Whew, done. So the skillet souffle has been in for about 18 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and then slip it back in under the broiler so the top gets nice and golden. You see it's risen considerably. The sort of crust has formed on the edges there. Can you see? Not bad. All right, so the broiler's on. Easier than a frittata. It's been about two minutes. It's nice and golden. I mean, that looks good. It'll deflate the longer it stays out of the oven, so you want to serve it immediately. So I'm going to serve myself immediately. And you can see it sort of deflate as we go. And that's it. I wish you could have some. Um, it's really good. You can taste the cayenne. The cheese is melted. It's nice and assertive. It's good. It's just really good. I hope you enjoy.